Hey everyone, we are starting a new unit where we're looking at relationships between an X value and a Y value. The first thing we are going to look at is whether or not these relationships are functions. So we're going to answer the question, what is a function? And today we're going to identify functions from ordered pairs, tables, and mappings. So a function is where each input or X value has exactly one output or y value. So we only want our x values going to one y value. And this is how you tell that. It's pretty easy. If there are repeating x values, then it is not a function. So you can think about this like a Coke machine. If you press a button on a Coke machine, you only want there to be one output. Like if you press a Coke, you only want there to be a Coke. You don't want it to possibly give you a Coke or a Dr. Pepper. Okay. Now what we're gonna look at is the different representations and we're gonna explain why they are functions or not. So let's look at ordered pairs. Remember, we're just looking at the X values. So my X values here are one, negative one, three, and negative three. Since those are all different, that's why it is a function because all the X values are different. Okay, then on this set of ordered pairs below, my x values are one, one, and two, and four. So you can see that those ones are repeating. So that means it's not a function because we have repeating x values. Okay, now we're gonna look at tables. It is really similar. We don't care about the Y values in a function. We just look at the X values. So my X values are negative one, zero, one, and two in this first table. And since all the X values are different, that's why it is a function. Okay, then in the next table, my X values are one, two, three, and three. As you can see, the three maps to an eight or a nine. So if you pressed a three on this Coke machine, you could possibly get two different answers, which is why this one is not a function because there are repeating X values. Okay, then our last representation that we're gonna look at is a mapping. This one I think is most like the Coke machine. So whenever you press the input or the X value, you only want it to give you one output. There's only one arrow coming from each of our inputs. So that's why this is a function because each input only has one output. Each input, which is an X, only has one output or Y. Okay, then if we look at this mapping that's not a function, as you can see right here, this one is going to seven and to nine. If we pressed that on a Coke machine, it could possibly give us a Sprite or a water bottle, which is not what we want. That's not a functioning Coke machine. So this is not a function because an input, which in this case was one, has two outputs. Okay, so now we've gone through each representation. We're just gonna practice this a little bit more. We're gonna go through and identify if these are functions or not. So our first one, my values are Remember, we only care about the X values with functions. So I'm just ignoring the Y values and I'm just looking at my X values here. Negative seven, negative six, negative five, negative four. Those are all different. So this one is a function because all X values are different. Okay, now we're gonna look at this table and I can see I have some repeating X values. I see four 
in there three times and I see some repeating twos. So this one is not a function. Because we have repeating x values. Okay, this next one, it is a mapping. Remember, we only want every x value to map to one y value, but look at five. It's going to two and to three. So this one is not a function. And we would say an input our input of five has two outputs. Okay, number four. If I look, each of my inputs only has one arrow going from it. It's okay that one and two are both going to negative nine. What matters is each of my inputs only has one output. So this one is a function. Because each input has one output. Okay, next one, I only care about the x values and I can see I have two ones. So this one is not a function. Because we have repeating x values. All right, last one, a table. Again, all I care about is my x values. I have negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. Those are all different, so that means that this representation is a function. Because all x values are different.